My dear students, welcome back. Uh, we are continuing in uh, unit uh, 7 and uh, today we are going to have the fun export and some information like we used to do in, uh, in, all, in all the units we had. Okay, uh, lesson 3 about the, how the uh, world works, the phonics. Open your, uh, your book uh, on this page in front of you on the uh, screen. Uh, you can see some pictures. Uh, showing you the phonics or the sounds we are going to take today, which is U, E and W, U dash E, which is sometimes U, sometimes U. We, we are going to have a lot of uh, words showing the, this sound or uh, making you listen to this sound a lot. Uh, and U, E, which is U too. So let's uh, uh, see the first picture here. I have a new pen. I have a new pen. A new pen okay I used to have short hair I used to have short hair okay dad has a blue car listen to the sound dad has a blue car okay number two the shop had new blue jewels in June look at the, those words they have the same sound but sometimes the u and the e pronounced like u and sometimes like u uh, it doesn't have a specific rule but it the more you read the more you know okay read a lot so you can know and listen a lot too if you read and listen a lot you will differentiate between them and you can know which is you and which is u this comes by practice and I prepared for you a lot of words, so don't worry about it. It's true, it's true, I used to play the flute. It's true, I used to play the flute. In the next slide, you will see the OO or U sound. Here you can see dual, dual, argue, argue. Cruel. I'm reading by order. You can see the words in front of you. Cruel. Look at the monkey, this monster. Cruel. Tissue. Tissue. True. True. Opposite force. True. Rescue. Rescue. Now it's you. Glue. Glue. Now it's you. Statue, statue, this is you. Clue, a clue for something is the key of something that shows you the evidence of anything. This is the evidence, clue and blue. So now you know that there are two different pronunciations for the U and E sound. They make one sound which is U or U, okay? In the next slide we have another sound which is U. Okay, the first one is sew, to sew something with a needle, and uh, you can see it. Cashew, cashews. It's very delicious. I like it very much. What about you? Interview, interview. Screw, screw, something to open the lead with, okay? To take out the leads of some bottles with a screw, okay? New. Jewel, moo, jewel, my do, renew, stew, view, newt, or newt, newt. Okay, in the next slide we have the, uh, the other sound, U and E. U dash E means that there is a letter in front of the, in, in between the two uh, letters like tube the tooth the toothpaste tube flute cube and June so now you know that these sounds sometimes comes like you sometimes comes like ooh and as I told you you have to read and listen a lot to these sounds to differentiate between those two sounds okay in the next slide we have a very interesting uh, uh, information about the punctuation marks. 
punctuation marks you can see them a lot in the in the books or while reading you can see the first thing we use the period a period or is the full stop okay let's let's say that that uh, a full stop is can be uh, known as a period okay so we use a period at the end of the sentence we use a full stop at the end of the sentence so the period is a full stop we use an exclamation mark at the end of a surprising system sentence if you are excited if you are happy if you are surprised so when you write something like that you should put an exclamation mark at the end okay we use a question mark at the end of a question of course we use commas in a list or to connect to sentences so let's see the uh, uh, examples we have here what do you usually do on the weekend what do you usually do at the weekends so this is a question so you put a question mark at the end number two stop stop that road is dangerous that road is dangerous of course this is uh, something warning and very exciting so stop you put exclamation mark after stop and a period or a full stop at the end of the statement next to it number three Tarek didn't use to speak english this is a, a, a normal statement so the, uh, you cannot put any of uh, any of these marks only that period or the full stop i like reading books watching tv and playing with my brothers so these are three things i like to do so they are listing you are listing the things you like to do so you have to put commas between them like this i like reading books watching tv and playing with my brothers so you are not going to say I, I like reading books and watching TV and playing no you don't use and a lot instead of using a lot of ands okay you use commas and write only one and before the last thing you have like like I say I have a new dress and uh, a car and a house so three things i don't say i have a dress a, uh, and a car and a house we say i have a dress a car and a house so you say only one and number five did you used to walk to school this is a question you put a question mark that was an amazing game that was an amazing game this is of course you are happy about something you are excited about something you put exclamation mark okay i used to have long hair but now my hair is short i used to uh, i used to have long hair but now my hair is short this is a normal statement it doesn't have any excitement it's not a questioning uh, uh, sentence so you you put full stop or a period next slide here you can see uh clear or signs now we are going to have information from science wise okay as you see we have a picture of twins twins of course you have a lot of friends like uh, twins or triples maybe okay twins are two siblings read with me concentrate and listen while listening you put your eyes on the words please twins are two siblings who are born at the same time again twins are two siblings who are born at the same time they can be identical or non-identical okay don't worry about the meaning we are going to explain later okay they can be identical or non-identical identical means that they are exactly the same identical means that they are exactly the same they look the same and their bodies work and grow in the same way identical twins can uh, uh, identical twins are always two sisters or two brothers those are the identical ones about the non-identical in the second paragraph non-identical twins can be similar to each other 
or they can be very different. So they can be similar or different. They can be two brothers, two sisters, or a sister and a brother. You see, so the non-identical twins can be similar to each other or they can be very different. They can be two brothers, two sisters, or a sister and a brother. Sometimes they look, sometimes they look like each other and sometimes they don't. Sometimes people can be triplets, triplets, three siblings, or even hmm, quadruplets, quadruplets, that's four. They, uh, if you look to, the, to your page, you will see exclamation mark, and this is four? Wow, that's a lot. Twins often think and behave in similar ways, similar ways. Do you know any twins? What do you think it would be like if he, uh, to be a twin? In the next slide, we will know more. Okay. Here is the new vocabulary you have in your, uh, uh, in your page. We have read together. Sibling is a brother and or sister. Sibling is a brother or sister. Identical means the same in everything. You should differentiate between identical and non-identical, by the way. Okay, identical means the same in every, th in every way. Non-identical can be similar to each other or different. Can be similar or different. Those are the non-identical uh, uh, twins. The different, not the same. Of course, different is not the same. They are opposite mean. Similar, this is a tricky word. You have to concentrate on that. Similar means that having lots of things the same but not everything. So similar means that you look like me, but you are not. Uh, you you don't look like me in all in everything. You just look like me. Maybe you have the color of my eyes. You have the color of my skin, but not everything. This is similar. Twins. What is the meaning of twins? Two siblings. And I said sibling means sister or brother. Two sisters or two brothers. Uh, uh, they are born at the same time from the same parents so twins two siblings are born at the same time uh, the same thing for triplets but uh, they are three babies are born at the same time for the quadruplets quadruplets they are four uh, babies born at the same time this is amazing okay in the next slide you will exercise uh, uh, on this uh, vocabulary. You see here two, uh, uh, twin, they are twin, boy and a girl, okay? And they are non-identical, of course, because they, one boy and one girl, uh, those are non-identical. If they are identical, they will be two sisters or two brothers, okay? Let's look at their facial features, facial features and their character, okay? Malak has a twin brother. Malak has a twin brother too. His name is Yunus. Malak is 148 centimeter. Malak is 148 centimeter tall. She has curly hair. She has curly hair. And she doesn't wear glasses. Now, I, uh, some questions and I answered them for you. Here, does Malak wear glasses? Of course you, of course you see them. No. Does Eunice wear glasses? Yes. Does Malak have dark hair? Yes, she has dark hair. Does Eunice have curly hair? No. He's, he, he has a wavy hair. It's not curly. Look at the curly and the wavy. Okay? He has wavy hair and she has curly hair. How tall is Malak? Of course, we know that. Uh, uh, how uh, tall is Malak? She is 148 centimeters and this is written in front of us. But what about Eunice? Do you know how tall he is? No, we don't know because they are non-identical twins. If they are identical, they will be the same height. Okay, in the next uh, picture or the next slide, you will see that identical twins. Here I gathered a lot of twins together. They are uh, twins, girls or boys. Okay, and you can see the facial features are the same and triplets too. Okay. Uh, this is the end of uh, the lesson today. Thank you and goodbye.